wow, this is shit and good at the same time. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 17 of Supernatural season 14. And wow, this episode was a wave of emotions between how fucking awful it was to how actually decent it was. And my god, what a wave. We'll talk about the lesser storyline first. That's Castiel and Jensen Ackles' wife trying to find God. Again, basically almost the exact same storyline from season 5 of when Castiel had Dean's amulet and he was trying to find God and it didn't work. This is all basically kind of a play on for Castiel who's trying to save Jack's soul even though there's no point to it. And it just basically brought Kat Jensen Ackles' wife back just because. The real main story was the one that I was going, oh my God, please do not do that. No, 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 no. It started off with Donatello being kidnapped. Again. This guy has been kidnapped almost as much as Princess Peach has. It turns out that it's Nick and his giant elaborate plan to get Lucifer back. He sets up a live stream of Donatello as a means of blackmail, even though Nick hasn't touched modern day technology since 2010. So how he knows to set up a live stream is just ridiculous. And the show even beat me to it in terms of talking about how on earth he even knows who Donatello was. I don't know, you asked me that psycho scene way too many 90s serial killer movies. Nick doesn't even know Donatello. Lucifer did. It doesn't make any sense to me either, but Donatello, we're, we're running out of time. Even the show can't hold back its stupidity. Even Andrew Dabbs like, well, everyone knows I basically can't write, so I'll do that with the characters too. Dang. So what the whole episode is, the main story, is basically me going no at the idea of them bringing back Lucifer for the fourth time. And the whole time, like, please don't do it. Please don't actually do it. And I'll admit, it did trick me because it actually didn't sink to that low of a level for writing. What actually happens is Nick at first almost kills Sam. Sam who has taken multiple horrible blows from hunters, vampires, ghosts, monsters, all form of evil deities including even his own brother, god figures and whatnot. But a simple rock is the concussion that does him in. The guy who's been knocked out pretty much every single episode of Supernatural is finally given some concussive damage by a rock. Was God in this fucking thing? So while I have said there's a lot of terrible stuff that happens in this episode, it actually does wave back and forth between some good, decent points. There's actually some good shooting in it. There's a really cool fight scene with Dean as he fights off the demons who just so happen to be there, who somehow Nick knows about. Okay, you admit that part's weak too. Jack's moral dynamic in this episode is pretty cool, and what happens to Nick at the end was actually pretty dope. However, then Mom for some reasons like yeah this was too far you know this dude only destroyed the fucking universe but what you did to him was wrong and also by the way her ham-fisted dialogue of I'm really proud of you boys you make me so proud I'm not gonna die at all totally not so I did like how the episode ended with that little cliffhanger even though they were basically spoon feeding it to you. It looks like Jack is going to be kind of like a Dark Phoenix sort of character, which admittedly, fuck it, you know, it's going to be something original for this show, so take that as you will. So while the episode does have a lot of really stupid shit in it, it does have some redeeming-ish little qualities here and there, whether with the camera work, the thank god not using Lucifer as a villain for the fourth time fucking storyline, as well as the little kind of interesting means of how they shot Jack's kind of twist at the end. Now, we all knew that was coming, but how it was done at least was somewhat creative. I'm not going to give this episode a positive rating, I'm still going to give this episode a 3 out of 7, but holy shit, this could have been way, 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 way worse. You know, because rocks in all could just destroy the world apparently anyways guys that's all for me i hope you liked this review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video you're probably wondering who i am my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. <sniffs> hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.